What's ahead for the Metro Council now that state lawmakers say they need to cut the number of council members by half? Tonight was the first chance for council members to ask that question. And as News Channel 5's Jason Lamb explains, for a redistricting plan that usually takes months to develop, now Metro has only a handful of days. All right, we are uh, going to go ahead and get started. Following the new state law cutting the size of Metro Council in half, no doubt some council members found a double meaning in Vice Mayor Jim Shulman's opening comments. Welcome to March Madness, first day of March Madness. <laughs> While a lawsuit over the bill continues, today Metro's planning team outlined how they need to come up with a new 20-member redistricting map in record time. How long did you take to do the most recent redistricting of 35 districts? Uh, the entire process took, I believe, five months. And how much time are you given now? Um, the bill gives us 30 days. Um, as I said, we are seven days into that 30 day timeline. Council members worry that speed may open up the city to lawsuits for violating the Federal Voting Rights Act and limit how much input you will get to have on what the new lines look like. All while projections from the planning department confirm what some council members said were their fears that the number of minorities on the council would drop. Yes, it, it really does. Now it shows the percentage could go down, could go up, but the numbers of people actually did go down. So you're looking at from 10 right now for the African-American minority community, so we're looking at possibly four. Uh, uh, so that's, that's, a, that's a big reduction. And Sandra Sepulveda, the only Latina council member, reacted to the news that under the redistricting, it's possible no Hispanic council members may be elected even with thousands living in Nashville. It's hard. It's hard, especially since there's only one at the moment, so <laughs> one person from that community. Council members will hear more impact from the bill at a special meeting next week. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.